this is just awesome. So this is going to be the final boss of the game. At least what I think the final boss is. I don't know if it recorded the fact that I already talked to her. But for a robot, she's pretty lively. But, she, you know, I don't know. She should be the next Terminator. Okay. All right, so I guess i just put the book here. So she said, she said, once I put the book there, then she's going to attack me. And I said, okay, that's fine. I wish there was actual voice acting in this. This robot has more life than like half of the other characters in this game. It's Volcarona! I don't know who you think you are, but... Oh, alright. I was gonna try to read that. I guess I couldn't... Okay, fine, I guess this is a Slitherwing, which you know, still looks like Volcarona. Five Splendid, isn't it? Sure, absolutely. that I had already kind of previewed this fight. I did this fight yesterday and I thought this was actually really cool so I beat the entire fight and then I just like exited back to the home menu and didn't save it because I wanted to stream this. I thought this was actually pretty cool. I think this is probably one of the coolest things that I've seen in Pokemon I don't know, probably in about 15 years. So, in Pokemon Scarlet, you get Kolraidon, which in Japanese means past, and in Pokemon Violet you get Miraidon, which Mirai means future. I have both games, I have not played Violet at all. I mean, I created a file, but I didn't, like, play it. And because Scarlet seems to be taking place in the past, I am guessing that Pokemon Violet is the same sort of thing, just with the future. Yeah, my fire alligator is, like... Eh, at this point it can just basically take out anything in one hit. Yeah, the entire game's story, the whole thing about, like, becoming the smartest kid in school, I thought was hilariously stupid. But once I started Area Zero, I was like, okay, the game has completely redeemed itself. This Area Zero story is, like, so cool, so badass. Okay, I 
guess the memory is not coming. That's basically like the level that you find these things in the wild. Evidently, this boss head did like zero training. Roaring Moon. High probability of winning is zero? I don't know. Kinda wiped out her team in mostly single shots. One shotting everything. It's not very effective, but one hit KO. Ha ha! You defeated AI Sada. I beat her Pokemon so she malfunctions? Okay. I don't understand why the platform raised. You're so long, so long, Avrin. Mom! Security system failure? Oh no! Threat to time machine detected? I kinda thought that was established about 10 minutes ago. What's going on? Is there an army of Pokemon on the way? It can't be! I don't know, she looks like she's having a bad day. Obstacles preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating. Paradise Protection Protocol? What are these names? It's keeping the time machine running truly a professor cared about. Blocking all Pokeballs except those registered to Seda's IDs? What? Program initializing gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children! This is too much for you! You must run! I say a disabled paradise protection protocol initialized. You are not getting away. You're challenged by AI. Okay, that that's pretty cool. Finally, use co right on. <laughs> Is this a scripted battle? Like, am I guaranteed to win?
Call right on consumed crystal meth sandwich. Yeah, if anyone knows where to get this game's soundtrack, let me know. I wouldn't mind buying it, it's it's a pretty damn good soundtrack. use the same move twice. Is there like any specific strategy on how to beat this? I wonder if that boss just uses continuously like moves that are Sometimes, like, moves that don't do anything. situations where like I'm going I'm going to win no matter what with all the dialogue and everything. This this appears to be scripted. Well, evidently I just wasted a um, max potion. scripted, obviously. Uh, 
I defeated Paradise Protection Protocol. What designates as Paradise in this game? You did it! It's not going berserk anymore! Ah, oh, to think you managed to defy even original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? A completely unforeseen outcome, even for you possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived! And she's just gonna continue twitching. No, okay, never mind, she froze. Find the wisdom to trick yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your hands, and the fortitude to do what we to be done. No matter how difficult your own paths may have been, I believe you'll be capable of walking whatever path you choose yourselves with pride. I thank you, Scarlet. I thank all you children. This game has a weird obsession with children. Ah, what does that mean? I'm sorry. Explode. A robot felt jealous? Really? She is connected to the machine. She has to say goodbye. Oh no. Why did he say mom? It's already confirmed that she's a robot. You know, now that I know what the Scarlet Book and the Violet Book are, I probably should have reserved this game at the other store because they sold the Scarlet Book and Violet Book with the game. I went to a different place and I pre-ordered it and I got like some coffee mugs. And I reserved it online and they sent me a, a fork and a spoon. Because the first thing I think about with Pokemon is forks and spoons. Somewhere deep down. I kind of already knew it. He mentioned that earlier. <laughs> I think that's like a really weird chest. think about it, in this game, it seems like your teammates actually seem to do something in this game. What should we do now? Uh, I don't know. Let's go home. Oh no, weird guy is sad. Let's take the long way home and listen to some offspring. Let's go buy snacks! Now, we just need the music from Back to the Future, Power of Love, and then everybody has a happy day. 
even eye patch guy. You see tonight it could go either way. What? Okay. This game went from like way badass to super kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't like video games like this having lyrics in their music. It really breaks the game. Like I it was kind of the same way with Kirby Discovery. It's like the whole game was really good and then you had like the title screen. I was like, oh my god, that music is so dumb. Like, outside of the game by itself? Okay, it's fine. But in the game, it's just like, you just broke the immersion. So my overall opinions on this game, yes, it's an extremely glitchy mess, but it was like really fun. They clearly took a lot of shortcuts with this game. Um, for example, like there's no real title screen or opening or anything. Like when you compare it to like the first Pokemon game, there was like a really cool animation and good music. This one is just like, oh here, here's the title, this is what you're playing. The overall world design. I think it's good. There's a few spots that really could be fixed, but I th obviously they're just barriers to prevent the player from getting places they really shouldn't. Uh, characters? I... I don't know. I think with all the character development in this game, all the character designs, it seems like they just spent some time on TikTok and Instagram and said, okay, that's how people talk, and that's the kind of characters that they put in this game. The new Pokemon. Yeah, they're pretty cool. The story about going to school to be the smartest kid. That's not so good, but as soon as you get past that and then go to the Area Zero thing, Area Zero was just amazing. They put a lot of time and effort into that. It's like two completely different people like worked on Area Zero and the other half of the game. The whole idea of like fighting the big titan bosses, that was really cool. Probably the most interesting character might be your rival with the green hair and the professor that I just beat. I think those two are the most interesting characters in the game. <laughs> Story about Koridon? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like when I first saw Koridon, it was just like, okay, what's this? But now I understand why when you find it. It's like basically defeated and like can't do anything. Playing through the ending of the game, it does really add quite a bit to his story, so I think they did really good with that. The legendaries? Yeah, the legendary designs are pretty cool and like the music was really, really fantastic. I think before being able to fight the legendaries, having to do a fetch quest was kind of stupid. Like, going to do this treasure hunt, I mean, they put too much emphasis on that. They should have just had, like, kind of an interesting story, people giving you hints, telling you where they are, and just go from there. 
overall, a good game. Uh, not the best. I mean, Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Emerald are clearly the best games. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire were, like, really good. But this one was, it was good, it was really enjoyable. At times it felt like a grind, but that's mostly because I got lost all the time. Um, yes. This is, this looks like a Pokemon game that you can actually play after you finish the game. Like a lot of Pokemon games, they have that problem where like, you have to beat it within like the first two months and then like, replayability is like so damn low, or you buy it used, it's impossible to complete the game. This one, it seems possible to get 100% of everything without the internet. So that's good. As far as other Pokemon, you know, from like uh, previous games, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna put them in or if they are in the game. I'm not sure. Bottom line, it's good. Ah, okay, so I basically complete the game and oh, here's a Master Ball. Yeah, at this point, the Master Ball is like kind of useless. I think the most appropriate timing you get with the Master Ball is probably Pokemon Red or Pokemon Crystal. Because you get the Master Ball like halfway through the game and then it's up to you to decide where to use it. I mean at this point I have most of the Pokedex complete. I think I caught everything I could. Even for like the legendaries, just having one Master Ball is like, I don't know, kind of pointless. I would actually prefer to get like, oh, you completed the game? Oh, here's nine million dollars. That way you're not like restricted to like having no money or constantly fighting the Elite Four over and over. There's a contest. So what else is going on in the post game of this? Lend me a hand? Okay. Sure. What else is there to do? Seriously? Rebattle all the gym leaders? Uh, I guess if you want to artificially extend the game, that's one way to do it. Okay. Well, anyway, that's that's Pokemon Scarlet. So, it's a good game. I recommend it. Even if you pick it up late, uh, used or whatever, and all the events are finished, it's still good. Alright, that's going to be the end of here.
more prehistoric Pokemon become available to catch zero, and you can fight gym leaders again, tougher versions, plus 20 after that. Okay. Well, that was a really big key event, and I just wanted to stream that before I continue playing this game. Um, yeah, it's good. If you select Coridon while the main menu is open, you can have it change between its battle form and its ride form. Huh? Change into my battle form? Oh. Okay. Well, that's it gonna be that's gonna be it for this one. So yeah, thank you for watching this unusual Friday's Twitch stream, and I will catch you Tuesday morning, Monday night, USA time, for some my Okay?